Hey, Kendall, how you doing? Okay, so um, just reading through your your work a little bit. This is good. This is good. You're 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 linking out and searching outside for for color. That's fantastic. Great job. Um, it, it, you you've noticed by now that I'm 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 a very very big proponent of research, whether it be visual research concerning color, um, form. Um, or whether it be actual uh, research concerning conceptual development of a project. I think uh, I'm of the belief that uh, good design is a result of good research. So to hear students say things like this, I actually searched to be in the Adobe uh, a color thing. I love it. I love it. Fantastic. Um, okay. All right. Good job. Thank you for including that written Rationale. I want to jump to the piece. I, I think the piece is, is great. I think it's got a great start. There's a couple of things I would mention. Um, I, I think there's a couple of things I, I'm going to mention. I think are going to make a lot of sense to you. And um, I, I would like to see just a couple of changes. And as I said, I, I think this is going to make a lot of sense to you. Let's talk about type first, okay? Look at the honeybee robotics. That looks fantastic, right? I think it's placed beautifully up there. Good job. And they've got to, 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 to kind of give a little visual variety to the left of the line honeybee robotics you've got defense uh, space medical and mining uh centered below and that that's cool that's a nice relationship um defense space medical mining the kerning now the kerning is the space between each individual letters it's really tight really really tight to the point where it's 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 not helping at all we can see that c is right up on that in that uh and and these are these letters are so close that when we look at them there you're starting to get a little bit of build up right there meaning that the two um uh um uh, horizontal I'm, I'm sorry the two vertical bars of the n and the c are starting to kind of look like they're one. So that's why it looks so thick right here. So it's very dense right there. We can see the same thing here in, the, in between the M and the E and to a little bit of a lesser degree in, in, in the N and the G. So that all points to your turning being too tight. So I would loosen up the spacing between individual letters in, in all of these words. Uh, also in typography, it's, it's a really great idea to mix typefaces. It's got a nice degree of typographic variety by uh, uh, Combining a sans serif and serif, you got this beautiful sans serif up here. Let's let's try a serif down here. I think it'll give give a nice variety. Okay, the actual illustration I think is great, but I think it's a little small for the. Watch my cursor. I'm thinking something like this. I think it's just a little bit small for the the size of the poster. The spatial relationships are a little bit awkward because I think that this this all this negative space right here. I think would, and I'm a fan of negative space, but I just think that if we were to kind of bring that a little bit bigger, just the illustrations, maybe even a little bit bigger than that, but you know, something like that. Um, good, uh, re good, good relationships, good size relationships in the actual B itself. My only other recommendation here is this, is, is the yellow and black. I think we could get a more vibrant yellow in there. That's a more vibrant yellow. I mean, I think we think something more vibrant than that. We think of bees, we think, first thing we think of with bees is that, that color combination, right? That yellow and black. And I think that that's a really interesting way to go. So let's push that by, by adding a more vibrant, maybe even more saturated yellow. The only other, my only other recommendation is this, is, is that let's get in here. See these eyes right here? The background of the eyes, I'd like a little more continuation. What I would like to see you do is get that yellow. Once you get that vibrant and, and saturated, use the same yellow in the bee as in the honeycombs, the identical color. Then, even to push that continuation further, take this stroke on the honeycombs and come back down here and use it for the color of the eyes. You know, bees have or bees have kind of those kind of um, I want to say translucent. Those kind of eyes that kind of reflect uh, different colors of the wave uh, uh, spectrum of wavelengths of the spectrum. And I, I think that adding this color here will again add this nice visual interest um and, and and discontinuation from the honeycombs to the bee back and forth and I, I think that's going to create a really interesting visual relationship so i would recommend that, that other than that really fantastic job um so those are my recommendations if you have any questions at all please let me know thank you